Um, okay, uh, so hello and good evening, everyone. I am Atharva Gadkari, Debate Division Head at Westlit this year. And on behalf of the entire Westlit Circle and the Debate Division, I would like to welcome you all uh, in the finals of the Science Day Debate Competition. Uh, I would like to tell you about this, comp uh, tell you and all the judges about uh, this competition. First of all, uh, we'll welcome all our faculty members and our judges. Uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Kea Doshi, ma'am, uh, Dr. Maya Bhatt, ma'am, and, uh, and and Mrs. Uh, Ramya uh, Tirumal Sitti, ma'am, uh, who will be our judges for the final uh, today. We also have uh, Pooja Kundu, ma'am, and uh, Sushil sir, who will be joining in shortly, uh, who are the faculty heads of uh, the Westlake Circle. So I would like to uh, go through uh, the procedure that we went through and the journey that we had uh, of our Science Day debate. Uh, this debate was exclusively for the first years. Uh, and we thought that this would be a good opportunity for the first years to experiment with their debating skills and uh, and have an in and a general orientation to the debating arena. Uh, the to all the topics uh, in this science debate were obviously related to science and technology. But we, uh, but for the past, the past couple of days, we got to witness some fantastic debates from the first year students. Uh, we included topics like uh, uh, the the big controversial topics like uh, inclusion of bitcoins and uh, also nuclear power and the emerging technologies that are uh, in a, a, a piece of hot discussion in the news right now. So. Uh, we have with us our finalists uh, who have managed to uh, secure uh, great scores in their prelims and their semifinals and who have managed to come here. Uh, we have with us uh, Krishang and Kartikeya, uh, who would be from the proposition side. And we have with us Atrey and uh, Atrey, has your partner joined? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have Atri and Rashika who will be on the opposition side of the debate. Uh, now I think uh, Sneha will take over and uh, she will introduce everyone. Go ahead, Sneha. Thank you so much, uh, Atharva, for introducing the entire debate. So hello, everyone. Welcome to the finals of Science Day Debate 2022. And we're really delighted to have you guys here. And we're super happy that we, as the Westland Debate, club and circle gets to host you all for today's debate. So thank you teachers for being here. And I would like to thank everyone for actually being here, even the spectators for coming here and taking it as a learning step to actually look at the finals and learn more from their experience that I have. I would love to point this out that the freshers this year are very inquisitive and are so willing to learn. And it is really exciting to see that they want to take that one step extra to make themselves the debaters that they want to be and, you know, go ahead and participate in intercollegiate debates. But without any further ado, I would just like to ask all the teachers, uh, all the teacher judges over here, whether they have received their uh, respective mark sheets. Yes, received. Yes, yes, we have received. Okay, well. So I think all the judges have received their mark sheets. To just uh, brief the judges about this entire debate, we will be following a very simple timestamp, which will again be reiterated by the moderator of this debate. The timestamp is as follows. We'll be having a three-minute introduction speech, a 10-minute rebuttal round, followed by a three-minute conclusion speech. So that is the way this debate is going to go ahead. It will be moderated by our Westland debate team member, Akshiti. And the timer will be kept by Yash, I think. Yash is over here in the team as well. So he'll be keeping the timer. Uh, in addition to this, I would like to point out that we'll be judging all the participants for four different criteria. The first one is content. The second being the argument. The third is their body language based on whatever you can see on the screens in front of you. And the last one is their English proficiency and their delivery. And that is how they deliver their speech and uh, how fluently they're talking in English and if there are any errors that you may notice. So these are the four different criteria that we are uh, seeing in our different um, participants that we have today. Uh, without any further ado, I think we'll start the debate. 
and um, i just want to say good luck to all the participants you've come a long way and to all the spectators i hope you take this as a great experience to learn from the mistakes you have made and also to improve yourself and see what that extra step is to become a better debater with that i'll hand it over to akshiti kachwa who is the moderator for today uh, akshiti you have the floor thank you sneha good evening everyone um first i would like to go over the rules of this debate for our participants so uh, as stated by sneha we will be following a 3 minute introduction 10 minute rebuttal and 3 minute conclusion this will be the format that we will be following uh questions in the rebuttal would be of 15 seconds and the answers i request the participants to answer these questions in time frame of 30 seconds so this debate goes on smoothly i would request the judges to please note down the names of the team members of the teams a uh, proposition can you please introduce yourself and please tell us who would be your first speaker who would be doing the introduction and the second speaker who would be doing the conclusion okay so yeah i am kartik shukla along with Akshiti, my teammate krishan uh, uh, yes, just a minute uh, kartik i think okay. the sheet is not editable sneha yes jamma just give me one second yeah it's view only we can simultaneously write down the division and name that's it just a second uh atarva by the time i check the uh, sheet why don't you just introduce all the other team members just give me one yeah minute. yeah i think kartike now you can continue sneha bachcha uh, excuse me all uh, sneha what you can do beta is just you write the names in the sheets for all the teachers huh? if it is possible okay ma'am no issues yeah beta okay yeah. okay carry on yeah Okay, so yeah, I am Karthik Shukla along with my teammate Krishang Uke are on the proposition side. I'll I'll open the speech and Krishang will be concluding it. Thank you, team proposition. Now I would like I would like to request. Uh, hello, please tell your divisions. Uh, Krishang, we are, we are from D four A. Okay. We are both from D four A. Yes. Okay, so moving on to the opposition side, can uh, I request the opposition to please state who would be their first speaker and who would be their second speaker? So, in our case, I am Atri. I will conclude the speech, conclude the debate, and Rashika will introduce. Please uh, tell us your division. Thank you. Oh, we both are from D two A, D two B. Sorry, sir, D two B. okay so uh, moving on the motion for today is this house believes that the nuclear fusion it is, is krutika krutika it is atri mamit rash mamit rashika rashika okay rashika yeah. okay okay thank you okay so uh, moving on the topic for uh, the motion for today's debate is that this house believes that nuclear fusion is safe reliable and will dominate the energy supply in the future uh, so without further ado let's begin the debate i request the first speaker for today that is from the team opposition to please start the introduction team proposition you have the floor So yeah, I firmly believe that nuclear fusion is safe, reliable, and dominate the energy supply in the future. Nuclear is an underutilized source of energy, cheap to produce, and low carbon. They say nuclear should be a large, larger part of the world's energy mix as it transitions away from the uh, fossil fuels to low carbon and, re and renewable energy. The next decades are crucially important to putting the world on a path of reduced greenhouse gas emissions. By the end of the century, demand for energy will have tripled under the combined pressure of population growth, increased urbanization, and expanding access to electricity in developing countries. The fossil fuels that shaped 19th and 20th centuries civilization can only be relied on at the cost of greenhouse gases and pollution. A new large-scale, sustainable, and carbon-free form of energy is urgently needed. Hence, we need nuclear fusion. Fusing uh, fusing atoms together in a controlled way re releases nearly four billion times more energy than a chemical reaction such as the burning of coal, oil, or gas, and four times as much as the nuclear fusion reactions. Fusion has the potential to provide the kind of base load energy needed to provide electricity to our cities 
and our industries. Fusion fuels are widely available and nearly inexhaustible. Fusion reactions constitute the fundamental energy sources of stars, including the sun. The evolution of stars can be viewed as a passage through various stages as thermonuclear reactions and nucleosynthesis cause compositional changes over long time spans. Fusion doesn't emit harmful toxins like carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Its major byproduct is helium, an inert, non-toxic non gas. A Chernobyl or a Fukushima type nuclear accident is not possible in a tokamak fusion device. It is difficult enough to reach and maintain the precise conditions necessary for fusion. If any disturbance occurs, the plasma cools within seconds and the reaction stops. The ideal future energy mix for the planet would be based on a variety of generation methods instead of a large reliance on one source. Fusion could make a positive contribution to the challenges of resource availability, reduced carbon emissions, and fusion waste disposal and safety issues. When we look up at night and view the stars, everything we, say, everything we see is shining because of distant nuclear fusion. Famous scientist Stephen Hawking also believed and said that I would like nuclear fusion to become a practical power source. It would provide an inexhaustible supply of energy without pollution or global warming. Thank you. Thank you, team preposition. I would now ask team opposition to uh, start with their introduction. You have the floor now. So what is nuclear fusion? Fusion is the process that takes place in the hearts of stars and provides the power that drives the universe. When light, when light nuclei fuse to form a heavier nucleus, they release bursts of energy. And this energy is nuclear fusion energy. Initially, fusion investigations in the USSR and USA were connected to atomic weapons development and it remained divided until the Atoms for Peace Conference in the Geneva in 1958. But looking at the high cost that this process requires, it was only advisable that the countries come together to destroy this complexity. Scientists use one of the most powerful lasers for fusion experiments at the National Ignition Facility in US. But these experiments and other experiments just like this are just experiments. Science is still developing the technology. Although fusion looks possible right now, it costs more energy to do the experiment than, it would, than the energy it would produce during the process. The technology has a long way to go before it is commercially viable and maybe never will happen. Uh, this, process does, uh, this process uses hydrogen atoms, not only the normal, not just the normal hydrogen, but the special ones which have extra neutrons such as deuterium and tritium. Deuterium is widely available, but what about tritium? It is a radioactive element. And if this seeps into the environment and it can bond with oxygen, and may lead, may lead to hazardous effects. We can, yes, we can replace tritium with helium-3, but it's not available on Earth abundant, abundantly. This is found on the moon. And again, to extract this, it's going to require a lot of cost and effort. So we feel that nuclear fusion is not viable commercially and can cause some environmental effects. Thank you. Thank you, team opposition. Now one minute. Start... Uh, one minute. I'm just disturbing. How many marks uh, are there? Like, uh, are Ma'am, all, are... all the criteria are scored out of 10. The total will 10. be out of 40. Yeah. OK, OK. Thank you. OK, uh, thank you, teams, for uh, the introduction. Now we will be beginning with the rebuttal. I would once again like to remind the participants to limit their questions to 15 seconds and answers to 30 seconds. Um, we will start with the opposition opening the question. You have the floor now. Yeah, so I have one question. That is, the uh, proposition team said that nuclear fusion is safe, reliable, and would dominate the energy supply, and would also uh, be an alternative to the carbon emissions. So isn't, OK, so there is a lot of waste generated. So isn't that waste? As in the radioactive waste almost equally dangerous to the carbon waste in the environment? 
so i'll answer that first uh, yeah so the radioactive waste is actually reusable and recyclable within the 100 years of its uh, you know production all right and uh, we can use those radiations produced uh, during nuclear fusion to uh, to actually preserve food and it is actually being used all over the world to preserve food the food that uh, you eat and right the fruits that you eat especially apples that come from usa these are preserved through process of nuclear radiation therefore uh, they are they can be preserved for a long time of days like two weeks or three weeks these radiations and all are uh, actually very beneficial to uh, uh, us while uh, co2 emissions are not at all uh, uh, beneficial over a certain uh, threshold all right of course they are part of the greenhouse gas but they are also uh, after a certain threshold they are not uh, beneficial the same way radiations are after a certain threshold not beneficial thank you uh, also i would like to add on that Wait, I would like to add on that. As uh, your speaker Rashika already said, that tritium is the radioactive element and can be replaced by helium, but is not uh, abundant in the nature. But nuclear fusion already uh, produces helium, so helium helium's availability will be completed by nuclear fusion. Hence, it will replace tritium as the uh, radioactive element. Thank you. Okay, so there is one. Um, I think that there is. one dent in your research that is tritium is also thrown in the environment as a waste product and tritium since it's very dangerous it can combine with oxygen and it can produce radioactive water which is very 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 dangerous for not only for the aquatic life but also for uh, the living being for all the living beings the uh, waste produced uh, in normal uh, uh, plants that use coal energy or hydro uh, coal energy natural gas energy also produces a lot of uh, waste a lot of uh, uh, waste which also mixes with sea water which is also uh, detrimental to aquatic life so what about that that is much more detrimental tritium as you uh, said that it is not as abundant uh, so it won't cause as much harm but uh, Uh, waste uh, this waste produced by industries using coal and natural gas that is uh, very much uh, present we can see it and uh, it uh, destroys uh, uh, aquatic life aquatic uh, aquatic life and at also least, forest life uh, at oh. least the carbon emissions will take at least some time to reach till that level of pollution when it will start harming people like anything but but for radioactive things for example you talked about the um, radioactive preservance of fruits that can harm as people I, wait wait as i said earlier i think there's a serious communication gap between you and your opening speaker she said that tritium can be uh, exchanged can be replaced by helium which is available in which is available in the atmosphere because of nuclear fusion so the thing if you also we talk, all know how dangerous it is but it's about the carbon well. emissions since you also talked about carbon emissions in the support of your uh, answer uh, i asked this question yeah i understood your question but you need to understand that if they are using radiations in food they are using it in a controlled manner i mean they understand the uh, uh, side effects of radiation too so they are using it in a controlled manner so as to uh, you know not harm us but that uh, is very uh, important and that has helped us a lot that has not only uh, preserved fruits but that preservation has increased economy and increased revenue of the country and uh, saved those uh, money that would have been lost due to uh, the food going bad so uh, that radiation used is al- always uh, controlled uh, they don't put a lot of radiation so that we might die i mean they are also no i am not saying that we might die but it's it's not good for the health right look anything uh, anything in excess is not good for the health and everything has a uh, preservation uh, preservatives in it all right before using a nuclear we used to use wax that also had uh, that also was a very bad uh, pre- uh, preservative so we can't say that this is only bad each and every preservative is bad but it is very important for the economy it's very important for the businessman we can say uh, that uh, doesn't sound human but that is Business also businessman to make money out of yes i understand you have been i understand that yeah. isn't uh, it's not human but uh, we must understand the losses that might occur the loss of food 
okay not only the loss of money the loss of food loss of so much food uh, will uh, occur so uh, that so there I, is there is a lot of money that is that is you know put into this put into this technology there is a lot of money millions and billions of dollars that is put into this technology and i mean that that thing can be used somewhere else like for example in renewable energy that can be used i can, i want to counter that right. question with uh, yes. sorry okay yeah yeah i i'll, I'll uh, just okay. uh, Yeah. Hello, Krishna. So, yeah. So, uh, your uh, introduction speaker, uh, your speak, co teammate said that uh, it is not viable commercially. All right. So, uh, have you done your research? Because uh, it is one point five times to two times uh, more reliable than natural uh, gas and coal, and two to two point five to three point five times more reliable than wind and solar plants. And uh, it might be a less reliable than hydroelectricity, but it is much much cheaper. than hydroelectricity so the amount of money being put into it is so that because we know the amount of energy that is uh, going to be produced that's why you have to invest that much amount of money in all the things that we use right now a lot of money was invested uh, so that we can now use it at a much uh, cheaper rate yes i understand i totally understand but fusion um like nuclear reactors would have many other disadvantages like your uh, security reasons like um, there are again the thing the waste management but these things the renewable energy like solar power wind power these would not have any other um, you know side effects the disadvantages but they are not as reliable they do not produce as much energy and if you're talking about security and waste uh, then that is everywhere that is like each and every plant everywhere uh, each and every uh, resource every energy resource every plant uh, there is a problem of security and energy karthike would like to say something about that as you said that it it may cause it may be dangerous to the environment but after after few hazards after a few disasters a new device was introduced known as tokamak device it it's a powerful magnetic field, uh, field into to confine plasma in the shape of a torus so we so anyone who plan to uh, ex, who plan for the future as a nuclear fusion has planned thoroughly and by that a tokamak device was launched to to just preserve this to to just take care of the environment as well and uh, save a lot of money i think now we are talking about the national security isn't that just said a lot of money would be wasted i i just answered that so i also ask the question that what about national security nuclear power plants are the the biggest you know target of terrorists we have nuclear treaties between usa and um, russia we have so many other things so isn't that a matter of security uh, so there of is, course there is one more country there is one more country north korea which does not even believe uh, a simple thing or a simple data how whatever nuclear power plants and all they have yeah so korea doesn't north, believe in democracy as well we can't yes, go by that north korea is a dictatorship so we can't take that as an example they do not follow any human rules or uh, human politics all right so uh, to answer your question about security uh, terrorist can blow up uh, ammunitions uh, uh factory also and that would be uh, really detrimental because there are a lot of bombs and grenades inside that so uh, and of course a country is smart enough to uh, keep tight security around their uh, nuclear plants and also the uh, workers have to take a, a long hiatus after working for a, a few days so that uh, the radiation is reduced all right that is also uh, one thing so yeah about the security of course the country is smart enough to uh, keep a tight security I totally respect the um proposition said um Okay so uh that uh that brings us to the end of the rebuttal uh Atreya uh Atreya would you like to conclude your statement like the one you were saying before the timer ran out just complete your statement and then we'll move on to the conclusion 
yeah i was saying that i totally respect the uh, proposition opinions but i also feel that the this money can be put into other renewable resources which which will also cause a um, lesser threat to security and you know terrorists are having a target on these nuclear plants and more dangerous um, incidents and you have to please come to just wait a minute thank you yeah that's it okay so uh with that we come to, uh, to the end of rebuttal now we will start with the conclusion um please the stage is yours um you're telling me right the opposition the opposition will go first with the conclusion okay 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 from previous catastrophic one minute here yeah. from uh, previous catastrophic fission nuclear accidents such as chernobyl and fukushima accidents researchers learned the lesson that external hazards beyond design basis or human error could result in severe accidents and multi failure of the confinements although they are considered as very low probability events and not requested to be paid so much attention to according to um, current nuclear safety regulations fusion energy is always regarded as safe and clear energy however massive quantity of radioactivity still exists in fusion reactor and is possible to be released into the environment the environmental pollution and potential public consequences due to severe accidents of fusion reactor remain largely unexplored in this contribution we intend to investigate the hypothetical um accident to envelop the worst but probable consequences of fusion reactor and compare with historic um chernobyl and fukushima accident under assumed environmental conditions so this was one research that was done and it was proof that fusion reactors are equally potentially lethal like fusion rea reactors what happened in chernobyl so and in fact the doe in usa was storing over 10 million cubic feet of high level waste with three sites the majority of this waste is at hanford which sprawls over 560 square miles located next to columbia river the high level waste with hanford are stored in giant steel tanks so the disposal of radioactive waste appears to be far more costly than was ever envisioned while it is relative while it is relatively speaking rather straightforward to split an atom to produce energy which is what happens in fission it is a grand scientific challenge to fuse two hydrogen nuclei together to create helium isotope although it has been done but it has uh, so many disadvantages and the cost used here we we would like that the cost used here should be um put in the other renewable energies that can be more beneficial for people yeah that's it thank you okay. thank you opposition now i would request the proposition to please start with their conclusion the stage is yours so fusing atoms uh, together in a controlled way releases nearly 4 million times more energy than a chemical reaction such as the burning of coal oil or gas four times much as much as uh, nuclear fusion reactions at equal mass fusion has the potential to provide the uh, kind of base load energy needed to uh, provide electricity to our cities and industries fusion fuels are widely available and nearly inexhaustible fusion reactions constitute the fundamental energy source of stars including the sun uh the evolution of stars can be viewed as a passage through various stages as thermonuclear reactions uh as i had already said that uh, nuclear uh, fusion has the highest capacity factor 1.25 to uh, two times more than natural gas and coal and 2.5 to 35 or uh, 3.5 times more than uh, wind and solar plants all right and these uh, waste uh, produced by uh, nuclear uh, fusion uh, can be renewed reused and recycled after every uh, within 100 years of its uh, produce uh, production and uh, 
also the radiation produced by nuclear fusion is actually used in food preservation so uh, whenever food comes from another country it has to tra uh, travel on a ship uh, for uh, around 10 to 15 days uh, around 2 weeks and uh, to preserve that food nuclear radiation is one of the best methods uh, which can uh, re you know preserve the food all right and uh, it that preservation uh, actually kills the bacteria inside it uh, and uh, you know keeps the food really really uh, fresh and uh, better uh, and uh, more successful methods have been uh, uh, invented to dispose of nuclear waste uh, in a much better and safer way uh, and it is a stepping stone into uh, to actually uh, using nuclear fission as a uh, energy reaction uh, as a source of energy uh, production and it is as i already said that it is the uh, most reliable energy source uh, and the best energy source and uh, talking about the uh, side effects there is a lot of safety regulations to fight those side effects uh, in conclusion i would like to say i would like to say that the judges uh, should consider and the opposition to should reconsider their op opinion and uh, support our motion for the betterment of society thank you so much Thank you, team uh, proposition. And with that, we have come to the end of the debate. I would once again would like to thank the proposition and the opposition for participating in the debate. Now, I would like to hand it over to Sneha to continue with the proceedings. Uh, thank you, Akshati, for that. Uh, I will now hand it over to, I think, Gadkari, you can take it over from here. Thank you, all the participants, for taking part in this debate. Uh, it was great having you here. It was a great debate. We will now be taking some time to calculate the results. So please give us that time. Uh, in the meantime, I think we can just uh, wait. Atharva Gatkari, do you have to say anything? Uh, hello, am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so with the end of this debate, I would like to thank you, uh, thank everyone. Uh, who made this debate uh, competition possible. I would like to thank my entire debate division team, uh, including Sneha, Akshiti, uh, Isha, uh, Yash, and Tanya, along with the support of Kaushal and Shlok, who are the student heads of uh, Westlit Circle. I'd also like to thank uh, Pooja, Ma'am, and Sushil Sir for their uh, continued guidance uh, and, and their support uh, throughout this uh, debate competition. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, all the judges, Kea ma'am, Maya ma'am, and Ramya ma'am for taking out time uh, to be here and to uh, just uh, to help us judge uh, this finals debate. Uh, a huge congratulations to uh, the two teams who made it to the finals. Uh, we will be tallying all the scores and uh, that the judges have given, and we will let you know about the results shortly. Um, so that's it from my side. Uh, Kaushal, do you like to add on to something? No, Atharva, that was all. Uh, I think uh, till the scores are being calculated, we can take some valuable feedback from our judges today. Uh, Pooja, ma'am, would you like to start with the feedback? Yeah, all right, Kaushal. OK, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Kaushal, Shlok, Atharv, and the entire uh, debate team for conducting another successful event. So, and in a short period of duration, you were able to do the semis prelims, and uh, today we have the finale, and we were able to conduct such a nice event. OK, uh, regarding today's debate, I have joined the debate ever since the beginning. And I was listening to all of you. First of all, I would like to congratulate all four of you because being the first years, you have done a commendable job, right? Especially, I would like to mention the way the Karthike, uh, you initiated it. It was really, really nice. What I liked, uh, like the two of the speakers, I would like to comment here, like uh, Atrai, uh, like, Bitta, you were really, really nice, calm, composed when you were talking, which is really your edge. Even when you have really good, solid, concrete points uh, against the other team, you never lost your calm. So that's your positive edge. All right. Keep it with you in debate. It will be really, really helpful. Right. 
what i want to suggest to you atrai is what i found out is uh, beta your points were very very logical whatever you were illustrating was very very logical but somehow i felt the points would have been even more prominent and you could do a better justice with the points if they would have been suffice with concrete examples for example uh, you have brought in the concrete examples in the conclusion fantastic conclusion by you i was so so impressed with your conclusion because you have introduced examples over there to prove your point it makes it more logical believable relatable right so try and incorporate that in the very starting all right prashang you have done a fantastic job today but beta absolutely logical points you were adding on apt example to back up your opinion very well research the research was really really good on your part because every point the other team was raising you had a logical reasoning to back up your opinion you were very very confident throughout the debate and kartike you ha- you two were like you know supporting each other whenever like one was speaking i want the other team in future you can do the same the other girl uh, like i try your partner's name is because i'm on phone but who is the other one yeah uh, rashika rashika yeah yeah rashika Uh, so uh, for rashika i can say that uh, like your introduction was good but what could have been added uh, as a teacher i can guide you is uh, a little bit of i felt uh, the confidence was little less and uh, it was looking like uh, you were taking a little help from the screen and the paper though it's an online scenario your research should be thorough so that when you're talking you are extremely confident when you are talking right so your even uh, in online scenario eye contact plays a very dominant role for example when kashan kartik and atrai was talking it was looking like they were talking to each other they were their demeanor was calm composed they were very confident when they were talking so that could be incorporated but on the whole as first years and without much exposure you people have done a very very good job keep your good work up thank you so much ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am thank you pooja ma'am i'm sure that will help the participants a lot uh, moving on kia ma'am yeah i will second to pooja on that uh, especially from the opposition i do feel if uh, the way kartike was supporting krishan when uh, he was defending his point i actually expecting rashika should uh, say like something like we where atre is definitely defending because she has given that role but on the same time if you, like kartike has pointed out on from one uh, uh, argument that uh, your partner has said this and he has justified his point the way i was expecting the same argument from rashika also so uh, everything uh, uh, every time we have a learning experience so i hope you will learn it from that and uh, overall all the uh, debate were for the, the start with uh, kartike the way he has started i really liked but i would suggest you can uh, still go a little slower you were very good but you were too fast <laughs> right so some uh, logical point that you are thinking okay, but it was going on so fast that it will sometimes give a wrong impact or it will sometimes missed out from the point you are actually trying to uh, put a point right the way krushan has defended i really liked it yeah i like your even uh, argument and the way atrai was see your though there was a team but the way she was defending is really uh, with a very so much logical point so there are some point where you might be little bit uh, confused or you have that uh, point but you didn't uh, show it on your body language so which i really liked it you have defended it in a very proper manner so uh, i really like the way oppose uh, sorry you are the proposers right so the way uh, krishang and kartik has defended and yeah so rashika it's a uh, advice to you to be uh, more uh, energetic and more uh, 
participative in the next debate whenever you are participating and atreus is uh, good she was really good really on the point she don't want to let the <laughs> let them to uh, no you know it is like uh, i don't want you to say that this is good it's just like that <laughs> So overall, it's a really nice experience judging all four of you. So all the best for future and good. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Kaya, ma'am. Thank, Thank you for being with us here today. And uh, very nicely pointed out, ma'am. This is also something I told Atreya during the semi-finals that she displays some <laughs> controlled aggression, which is a really great skill to have as a debater. And uh, this is something I observed in Krishang as well. So nicely done, you guys. Uh, moving on, let's hear from Maya, ma'am. Okay. Uh, we, I have given a, a sheet for uh, judging. Like uh, uh, you had a con uh, we had a content, argument, body language, and English proficiency. So content-wise, the proposition was very good. Very good. They have very valid points to say then, but and Atreya was, was also having a very good, in his opposition was also having a very good uh, content, argument wise, but uh, opposition was very weak. Argument wise, opposition, uh, because there was no uh, coordination between the both the participants in the opposition. So that was very weak. But body language, body language also, opposition was very good. Body language part, opposition was, uh, proposition was very good. Opposition ka ek team member ne ye kiya. It was uh, uh, showing a, uh, 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 what you say, a weaker se section in your team. Then English proficiency was very good for both. Uh, Atreya was also very calm and proposed and with very good English proficiency, she uh, put uh, the points up. And uh, Kartike and Krishan, you also very good. Uh, Rasika also very good, but uh, she was uh, English proficiency means uh, she took the, uh, she was not uh, confident enough to propose her points. Okay, uh, oppose her points. She proposed the points very well, but uh, opposition ke liye she was not uh, that good. So, as, so finally, uh, I said the debate was very good because you are the first years and uh, being the first years, you have showed and very good. Uh, oppositions and propositions and uh, technique was very good technique you followed which is very good so overall the debate i really enjoyed it yeah thank you ma'am thank, thank you thank you ma'am thank you maya ma'am i think what's uh, a consistent feedback throughout has been that with practice y'all will all get better so I just wanted to point out that Western Circle will, of course, be holding more literature-related events this semester. So please do come participate. Not not just the finalists, but I'm talking to talking to all the first-year students who are here today as spectators as well. We have a host of events coming up. So I hope to see you guys there. Uh, lastly, Ramya, ma'am, please share your insights as well. Yeah, first of all, congratulations to both the teams for reaching the finale. <laughs> and uh, it is always a great topic for argument uh, I'm, I'm, when I'm talking about the nuclear energy it is always a good topic and both the teams have good valid points when being in first years you had done a good research on that topic and both of you have given valid points Okay, and I know it is a, very, a good, good topic which cannot be concluded you cannot either oppose or you cannot propose it is difficult to conclude okay. but as a first year student you have done it very well the only thing as other judges and Pooja ma'am told is the same thing. Rashika, you should have given a good support to your partner while she is opposing. Okay. And one more thing I wanted to say is content-wise and argument-wise, both the teams are very good. You have given valid points. Okay. When it comes to argument, when 
Our three was arguing so much. Like when you are defending your team, you should. Our Rashika should have given a good support to score well. <coughs> so what I wanted to say is, content and argument wise, both the teams are good, but it is a teamwork. So you should accept whatever the result is. Yeah, Rashika, please make sure that next time onwards you are supporting the team properly. <laughs> and when it comes to English proficiency and body language, both the teams are good. So we expect if next time we are going with the same team, Atrey and Rashika, Atrey will take the back seat and Rashika will take the front seat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so very nice experience. Finally, yeah. we are able to see at least four student of first year. <laughs> and thanks for the entire team for inviting us for judging this event. We really yeah, enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that I, actually I forgot to say that. So nice to see the old students also. Sneha, uh, Atharva, Kaushal. So very nice to enter. I actually, I think I have judged the last year also. So uh, it's always a nice experience for me. So and due to online scenario, it's always a pleasure. Overall, to... overall arrangement of the uh, it was also very good. Very nice, very yeah. nice. Yeah. Like they have provided us link and wall well before everything. Uh, this thing sheet. And any the... issue, they are ready before. to uh, immediately sort it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are there always. Good. Good team work. Good. Good team work. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Sneha, I think the scores have been calculated and we have the results ready. Yeah, uh, Maya, ma'am, we're just waiting for you to uh, fill in the sheet. So when that, once that is done, no, I have fill. I have filled it, but yeah. I uh, I have to share it. Where I have to share it, you just tell me. Uh, ma'am, uh, Gadkari, can you? Uh, ma'am, ma uh... that's okay. Share it to me. You can put it uh, to me on WhatsApp or email. Whatever is comfortable to you. No, 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 no. I will share it on mail. Okay. Just tell me the your email ID. Yes, ma'am. I think you can write it down on the uh, yes, chat box. Okay, great. Uh, with that, I think we just we have just one. The other teachers and judges' results have been calculated. But after we get my mom's uh, score sheet, we'll just consolidate it and let you know. So you guys can wait here. Uh, 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 apart from that, I think since we have another five minutes left uh, before we announce the results, I would love to know how your experience was with, uh, you know, debating over here. I know, I mean, this is the first time, I think, I think even Pooja Ma'am and Atta Gadkari will agree with this, our caution will agree with this, but this is the first time we're actually seeing so many people inquisitive enough to come to the finals and actually learn uh, for a debate. And we're really, really happy that you guys are taking that initiative. Uh, I know I've been repeating this multiple times, but you have no idea of being in an online environment, how happy that makes us as seniors. So I would love to hear from a few of you uh, what your experience was. I can see a few of the people who were there at the debate uh, prelims and at the semifinals. So I think, Achintya, can I have uh, you turn on your camera and probably share how your experience was? <laughs> Sneha, Yashodhan wants to speak. Somebody has raised hand. Just oh, okay. Yashodhan, is that you? I think you can go ahead and uh, share your views. I mean, if, I mean, if no, uh, uh, Tintia... Okay, fine. Uh, so, good afternoon, guys. Uh, I'm the finalist, my dear finalist. I'm so proud, first of all. I'd like to congratulate Atre and Rashika to making it to, semi -final, uh, to the finals and we couldn't be prouder. The debate was one of the, how do I say, the quality was so nice. I mean, I can't just uh, help but get inspired by you. It had just so little time, like 20 minutes or so research, and you great. Atri, kudos to you for the defender. Krishang, you have such quality. Kartike, uh, you were so good. And Rashika, you did a great introduction. Uh, and then I would just say that uh, you guys did great and I couldn't, couldn't be prouder of first year for doing this great sh So thank you so much. Uh, I really enjoyed the debate. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you to you too because 
you like share the link of this meeting in the unofficial group and that that is so great because many people came and saw and encouraged us to do the debate that's why thanks to you yashodan great i'm i'm glad i mean yashodan is a great speaker himself so that's that's really nice that we have you guys here uh achintya if you can join us now then i would love to hear from you what your what your entire uh, experience was yeah it was great over own means yeah atre i had the same issue with atre last round and she was maybe dominating rashika or maybe rashika doesn't want to speak i think maybe she doesn't let atre come forward and speak and rashika just stays on the sidelines and let atre handle the front lines maybe because we and rithika try uh, talk over the after the debate you like maybe team work ke liye inka ja sakta hai actually like see this is a learning for everyone but i want to point this out that rashika has done like a lot of help in research a lot i mean whatever we have the research most of most of the part is done by her and she has coordinated so nicely with the research she has always called and said that atre abhi kya karna hai abhi um, isme introduction mein kya dalu conclusion mein kya dalu ye dal sakte hai kya wo dal sakte hai kya that was so great it was a great experience of working with rashika for the for everything thank you so much i think i would just like to was this. dominating or yeah. anything it was just like i was a little intimidated and nervous during yeah, the- yeah exactly <laughs> exactly I, I, i would just like to go ahead and add this not necessarily someone who has to tell on top of their voice so i think a lot of you is mis- a lot of you are mistaken by what debating actually is and a debater is not the person who always keeps arguing there are two kinds there's one who stays calm and does most of the research and if you would end up seeing most of the co- of our college teams there's always one person who is just who is just going to like probably be right in the front wants to argue and make their way through and there always and just to let everyone know there's one person who argues a lot and there's always one person who has to calm the person down because the person who argues a lot can also cost uh, the team points so i think that's one thing that you should all learn from this uh, uh, entire debate but i think with that i'll move on to maybe some other person i think shivani nikam i think you were also a part of the prelims debate from my group so before that may i just another yeah. small note regarding this whole topic only i would like to remind everyone that for fes this was not just the first literature event but first general event overall for this academic year right so yes right so first event uh, first event for you all in this college first event of your college life so of course from year onwards uh, the more events you all take part in together as a team you all are bound to uh, improve bound to be better teammates and you all will pick each other's traits know that okay now now she's talking and at this point i'll have to chip in or at this point i'm supposed to calm her down or calm him down that is something which comes with experience so as first exactly. year this is not something that we really want to point point out or tell you all that you all lost marks you all lost marks there. this is something natural and organically think, it will i think improve. i think Watch we that. all had this discussion yesterday after the you know prelims uh, that the way we have judged you is not exactly how it's being judged uh, in the in the real sense but i just want to tell you that you know one there'll be a point where i think koshal is a debater atharva is a debater there's a lot of debaters over here the best part about us being in a team is because i know everyone's weaknesses they know what is my weakness and when you go to a debate where we have multiple debates where it's vested against vested in an intercollegiate debate and it's the most fierce debate you will ever see the reason being everyone knows each other's weakness so everyone holds on to it and makes it a point to you know uh make a whole uh, argument about it so i think this one thing you can all learn we'll always have workshops where you can learn more about debating and it's just very simple to say none of you none of us are perfect debaters you have a lot to learn and that is not just for anyone in particular it's for every single person over here what we have scored you is no way close to what happens in an intercollegiate debate so i hope you keep that in mind and uh, move forward with it okay i think uh, with that i think we can go ahead and announce the results as well because we have all the scores 
so uh who would like to announce the result i think gadkari i think i'll let you uh uh take over this uh section so and then you can go ahead with it okay uh thank you so much sneha so after telling all the scores from our judges uh i'd like to announce that the winner of science day debate competition uh is team uh, krishang and kartikeya so congratulations uh to the proposition of this debate uh and also great job opposition amazing debate uh, overall so great job guys congratulations everyone and uh, thank you so much everyone for participating and we hope to see you soon in the upcoming debates and events thank you so much and this opposition was the best until now seriously so props to uh, you had a, really had a great time uh, one hell of a debate yes thank you thank you to all all the judges for uh, making us the winner and thank you to all all the host and all the coordinating committee you guys did a great job thank yes, you yes you were really great and you were really, really lenient with us all the horror stories you told us uh, you were much lenient with us so thank you so much for that sure kartik could have been congratulations guys china recently conducted a fusion experiment aaram se ho jata hai I think I think we'll stop recording and then we can have our the usual chat chat session.